so friends in today's tutorial we're gonna be controlling uh, this servo motor um, with uh, this microcontroller ESP32 and uh, we're gonna be using uh, this 10 uh, K ohm potentiometer so now uh, first of all uh, I'm going to wire up the potentiometer so to do that we need two uh, three wires so um, one um, the outer pins one of them will be the uh, uh, the ground pin and the other the VCC while the middle pin is going to be our data uh, pin okay um, so um, I think it's done now we need to attach um, this potentiometer okay to the microcontroller ESP32 okay uh, now that's the uh, the data pin so the data pin is going to be attached to pin let me see let's find out pin uh, let me think pin 15 where is pin 15 is uh, over here and uh, next that's the uh, um, the white wire so white wire is the ground so we, we need to find the ground pin of the uh, from the uh, ESP32 okay the ground pin is over here and uh, that's the 3.3 uh, volts okay so we're done with uh, this potentiometer now next thing to do okay is to write up uh, the silver motor so the yellow wire is the uh, the data pin and uh, the the red one is the uh, VCC and the black one of course is our ground pin great now we need to find out out a uh, another ground pin so so ground pin is on this side of the uh, ESP32 over here let me see over here okay great now we need uh, to uh, to find out the uh, the VCC okay so we okay we um, we, we connect the red wire to v vcc through the uh, this potentiometer 
now the uh, we need to find uh, the uh, the data pin which is the uh, pin to the data pin for our servo model okay everything is is of great okay okay I think it's okay now we move forward and uh, we need to uh, to grab a cable so that uh, we can upload the program okay so that cable okay will help help us to upload the code so now we go to uh, uh, over we go to Arduino I D okay guys to control the servo motor with ESP32 we need to install this library server ESP32 okay so we go to library and uh, now here we, we, we go to library guys now here is okay here okay La so you you, you you click on library and you search for se servo esp32 and uh, for me it's already installed now that's our program guys that's the potentiometer pin uh, which is the uh, pin 15 from esp32 that's the uh, the library okay included uh, of the esp32 so that's the uh, pin 2 uh, so we attach uh, pin 2 so uh, here we are uh, producing producing the uh, the digital number from 0 to uh, 1023 so here we are mapping the value and uh, here we are writing okay to uh, pin to the uh, pwm signal okay now we, we need to select uh, the board so for me is a uh, esp 30 esp dev module okay so write dev and uh, search for esp 32 dev okay click on click on okay uh, and we, we are ready to ready to upload the program so just few minutes or seconds it de depends upon on the speed of your uh, laptop okay so yeah it's done we've just uploaded the program now testing time okay uh, so testing time we need so now um, after uploading the program you need to press the uh, enable button okay yes. so something went wrong here the um the servo model is not spinning i don't know why maybe the problem is uh, in, in the connection let me see it seems that uh, everything is correct but however the servo motor is not spinning is not uh, the shaft is not turn around turning so th the problem was the connection so uh, the data pin is attached to pin 2 now for okay now we can test okay we, we can control 
that's therefore motor through this uh, 10k ohm potentiometer uh, using the ESP32 microcontroller okay great so guys thank you so much and uh, please don't forget to subscribe